So this is unit 212. One of the first things you see when you walk in to your left is the doorway out to the courtyard, which is soon to be landscaped. You can see a couple of the owners have already uh, started their own individual landscaping projects, but each of the units surrounding this courtyard has its own deck area, and there are, there are only five units that get to take advantage of this semi-private courtyard. How many of those units are still available? There are two, the one we're standing in now and the one at the opposite end of the courtyard, Unit 216. Once again, we're looking at very high ceilings here. And I see floods of light greeting me as I head towards the hallway here. That's true, Joe. We're going to head toward the Michigan Avenue uh, elevation of the building, which obviously had the largest windows. And this unit in particular is a wall of floor to ceiling, side to side, all windows. That's absolutely amazing. When you talk about floor to ceiling windows, you don't think of them as being this height. That's for sure. 15, nearly 15 feet of windows and height and the full width of the unit. Do all of the units have uh, the gas fireplace, Paul? Thank you. And again, how many variations are there in the kitchen packages? Well, in uh, the remaining units, there are probably, you know, almost probably 15 different packages, and even within the, uh, the cabinet packages, we vary the grant choices. So they're probably almost no two alike. Okay. The track lighting, the uh, pendular lighting, and the, the ceiling fans are standard? All standard. Those ceiling fans, uh, for people who might not know, really have an important uh, energy saving. No question. You know, the, the high ceilings are dramatic, but it also allows much of the heat to rise to the top. Uh, and the ceiling fan serves to redistribute that warm air as it rises to the top of the unit during the winter and, and keep the lower portions of the unit warm. And during the summer, it just keeps air movement in the unit, obviously, and moves the cool air at the lower level of the unit around and distributes it throughout the unit. That increases your perceived comfort level, so you're less likely to turn the thermostat up beyond what it's, what's necessary. Absolutely. Very dramatic space here, Paul. Thank you, Joe. Let's we take a look at the bedrooms. We haven't even gotten to the duplex units yet. Ah. This is the master with the walk-in closet immediately to your right. The volume in this room is enormous. Yeah, that's what people look for when they look at a loft product, Joe, is they really want those, so the sense of spaciousness, which comes from the openness and the ceiling heights and all that works to create that sense of volume. And the master bath packages tend to be fairly typical from one unit to, to the no, next. Fine. No, they vary also very dramatically. We went from a Wendy Wood, I believe, in the last unit we visited, to this very contemporary sort of a shark gray. It's actually the name of the cabinet is called Shark, and it's a shark gray with black countertop, so a very contemporary selection here. This is a two bedroom unit, Paul? Two, correct. There's another unit there right here, another bedroom right to your right. And that looks out into the courtyard. Correct. We actually chose to 
put the bedroom, which is primarily a nighttime space, on the interior, the master bedroom that is, and put the second bedroom uh, here, which is quite possibly something that would serve as a den or an office, where it would take advantage of the daylight coming through the courtyard area. And again, they all seem to be pretty generously sized rooms. You'll find that throughout the project. <laughs>